Welcome back to BBN tonight. The Kentucky basketball team finished the month of November 6 and 1, but December's schedule looks <laughs> a little bit more challenging. Yeah, for sure. Let's bring in the one and only Jack Goose Givens for this conversation. And Jack, it's been seven games now with just one blemish on the record, that opener against Duke. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling with the Cats' current six-game win streak? Has the team met your expectations so far, even uh, with all that the guys have been in and out of the lineup? Uh, Cal said today someone has mono so whoever that is could be on an extended period of time well i i feel really good especially after the last two games when i saw some pretty good defense i gotta admit i've been a little bit concerned with this team defensively mm. but i uh, got a lot of stops they got a lot of steals they did a lot of good things on that end of the floor uh, and that's really important at times when they're not shooting the basketball well some of our guys have been wide open, have missed some shots, but as long as you're playing defense, that's a good thing. All right, the last time out against Tony Barbie and the chip was the Cats cruised to a 28 point mm -hmm. victory, but even in a big win, there are always some coachable moments. The Cats took 26 three pointers and only hit seven. UK's knockdown shooters, Kellen Grady and Dante Allen, they combined to go for two for 12. What'd you think about that? Yeah, I, I was really surprised because they were great shots. And what we have seen from these guys, not just in games, but I saw it in practice as well, they make shots when they're open. Uh, and, and they just could not fall. Now, we all know they're going to be nights like that. I mean, it's not surprising. So on those nights, what are you going to do? Are you going to be able to keep some offense going? Are you going to stop people, which is what they did in, those, in that last game? But it was a little bit of a concern uh, not seeing those shots go down. But you went by 30-something. <laughs> How can you be too concerned? <laughs> All right, in that same game, uh, Oscar Shibway did his thing, he's, recorded he's his Oscar. sixth double-double of the season in seven games. Ty Ty Washington, the game's second highest scorer, uh, putting up smooth 15 point performance to go along with six rebounds and two assists. Uh, listen to this, Jack. At an early age, my mom and dad always told me no matter where you at, no, what, no matter what type of level it is, just play basketball the right way. If you got an open shot, you know, capitalize, knock it down. If somebody else is open, give them the ball because you would want the same thing if the roles were reversed. And that's his mentality, that's his personality. Really comfortable in his own skin. He's comfortable with who he is as a player. He's not there to say, I'm going to prove that I can do this. He's not playing like, I need to get some baskets now. I got to get the double figures. He doesn't play that way. All right, let me remind everyone, that's not a senior. That's a freshman that was talking there. <laughs> Ty Ty averaging 15 points per game, shooting 47% from the floor. And it almost seems like no one else is talking about it, Goose. Well, and it's interesting because he has been Mr. Consistent. Of course, he and Oscar have been consistent. Mm -hmm. But it's always good when you have a couple guys, you get to know they're going to be there. You know what you can expect. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I tell you what, this young guy, <laughs> The way he plays, the confidence he plays with, mm -hmm. the t togetherness I'm talking about within himself has been not nothing short of just spectacular. He loves the game. You can tell that. He enjoys playing with each, these guys. It just seems like he is way beyond his years. Mm -hmm. No question about that. I feel like that's been so special about this team. A lot of the guys, they play yeah. with joy. You can tell they love it. Mm -hmm. They're not stressed, yeah. nervous. It's great. All right, the fast break has been a key to getting Kentucky's <laughs> offense going during the win streak. UK has averaged almost 17 fast break points a game. And Jack, correct me if I'm wrong, but that all starts with what the Cats are doing on defense defense and rebounding the basketball and of course Oscar has a lot to do with that but he's getting help from some other guys coach Calipari teams hardly ever force stills they want to force you to shoot a low percentage but they've had nine stills in the last couple of games which look at this leads to all kind of fast break opportunities so in these kind of situations who cares if you're not making outside shots because you're going to get quick offense the defense can't get caught up the mm -hmm. ball movement is great, which is a sign that they like playing with each other. They like sharing the basketball. Xavier, he, he likes getting people shots. But, man, being able to get out on the break and play with this kind of quickness and this kind of speed, it's going to be a fun year if they keep doing that. Awesome. All right, Goose, thank you so much. All right, next up, it's a sit down with John Calipari. He joined our favorite IGTV show, Coffee with Perez and Z. We'll be right back.